It is important to consider the accessibility of marked content. Most students will be able to view the PDF and follow the marking comments without difficulty. However, there are always some students who won't be able to view this and understand it with ease. And in most cases, you need to discuss this with the student to see what best suits them. Don't assume. Comments in callouts might be recognised as being added by the tutor, but if the student has also used callouts, these tutor comments might be difficult to locate. Any material that's been added with a pen cannot be understood by anyone using a screen reader. These are simply scribbles on the screen and for them they are meaningless. But blind person may have a sighted helper, so you might need to consider two separate versions, one for the assistant to use and one for the blind person themselves to use. It may be that you will need to provide a separate text document that describes all your marking feedback. Or, as I'm doing here, you might wish to record uh, your speech as you mark the work so that what you're describing is the feedback to the student. You might decide that you need to change certain colours to make them more easily visible to a student. The callouts are very difficult to understand for screen readers. So you need to think of some way of providing readable text in context for a screen reader. It may be that for a screen reader, inserting text is useful, but inserting a small amount of text into a long essay might take a long time to locate and they need to read through all the other content first um, to try and locate the little bits that you've added. So again a separate document might be useful. So you need to adjust your techniques to take into account the needs of the student. In most cases the PDF is going to be suitable. PDFs and in particular image PDFs are no use to screen readers. So there's quite a lot of things to bear in mind but often the student will know better than you what suits them although they might not be aware of all the different techniques that you have available to them. So you might want to try a test um, return document where they submit their work and you offer feedback in a variety of methods and they can select which method is appropriate for them.